Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope everyone is doing well today. I received a happy mail from another one of my subscribers. This is from the lovely Debbie R. And she is such a dear. She comments on almost every one of my videos. And Debbie, thank you so much. She, um, I have the back covered because her our addresses are on it. Debbie, I opened the end, but I have not, I just opened the end, but I have not pulled anything out. Um, I've had this for a little while. Debbie knew that I would, it would take me a little while to get to it because I was away, but I'm here and I'm going to open it today. So let's see what we have here. Okay, I'll put that aside here. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. All right, where on earth did you find this notebook? Look, it's got donkeys on it. How sweet is that? I love it. And here's a little bag of goodies. And look what's on top. A whole bunch of donkey stickers. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to open them all up. Okay, I'll show you a couple of these. These are just absolutely adorable. These are adorable. Oh my goodness, Debbie. Thank you so much. You guys, I've got to get working on my donkey journal. I've been receiving lots of wonderful things and I haven't, oh my goodness, look at these precious donkey stickers. Oh my goodness. How fun are these? I'm just showing you a couple here. Look at these darling donkey stickers. Can you see them? Oh, how fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. Yes, I, I have to work in my donkey journal. I haven't worked in it for a long time, and I need to get on that. But she sent me more. There's other goodies here. Here's a little bag with, um, why am I having so much? Here we go. Um, oh my goodness, these are other stickers. <gasps> I love these too. Look, these are all art-related re art stickers. Now, I'm not sure. Debbie does not have a channel. Um, so I'm not sure um, exactly what she does, but I think like most of us, she does a little bit of everything. How could you part with these, Debbie? Oh my goodness, these are awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, oh, this is just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so sweet of you. Thank you so much. And if I'm not mis Debbie, let me know in the comments. If I'm not mistaken, you came over to my channel from Sue Hiles, right? Is that right? Oh, look at this beautiful pocket she made. And it's got, okay, this is way beyond outside of my wheelhouse how she made this. It's got one, two, three uh, pockets to put things in. What do I have to put in there? Um, Helen, you're at your craft desk. You got 10,000 things. Look, one here, one here. Well, actually four because if I only glued it on three sides, then I'd have one here. This is beautiful. Oh, look, it matches that journal. Hmm. And look at this cute little house. I love houses. Besides donkeys, another thing I really, <coughs> excuse me, really love is houses. How cute would that be as a tag? The chimney actually makes a good tag, a good tab for it. And then she made me this. Okay, see, I saw you gave Susan one of these, and I was really hoping you would give me one. This is just stunning. I love this. It says, no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. Well, Debbie, you do have a good heart, honey. Look at this. Oh my gosh, and there's little, oh, she's made these embellishments. Rejoice always, pray continuously. These are all Christian um, uh, uh, scripture sayings and affirmations, and they're in here. Oh, I love this so much. I love making these little pockets, by the way. This is, this is uh, something I do in my December, my... December dailies, um, but I love this. It's absolutely stunning. And Debbie, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you've ever heard me say that, but pink is my favorite color. And look how like pink. Uh, it's also Sue Hiles' favorite color too. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate it so much. And, and I just love our online friendship that we have. Um, this was so kind of you, and I will cherish these things for sure. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave those stickers right there because... Let me put these things down here where Holiday can't get at them. Her, her name is Holly, but I call her Holiday sometimes. We're going to work in the collage journal. I haven't worked in this baby for a little while, so let's do some collage, right? Why not? So um, let me see if I can find a page here. I mean, this book is not anywhere near full, so it shouldn't be too terribly hard for me to look, find a page. But I want to find a page that kind of goes with... Uh, what I want to put in it um, today. And I'll show you that in one second. Um, uh, let's go to this second part here. Uh, is that a half page? That is a half a page. Okay, Helen, just pick one, would you? For crying out loud, these people don't have, have better things to do than sit and watch you laugh around trying to find a page to use. All right, the, la the, la the last page. This is what we're going to use. Okay, we're going to use one or both of these pages right here. Okay, so I my inspiration for today is two things, two items. First of all, this morning I was studying Jonah for my Wednesday night Bible study, and I was looking up, by the way, if you guys study the Bible the International Dictionary of the Bible. You have to get that. It's an old book. I got mine used off Amazon for a couple dollars. It's thick. It's over on my shelf. I would show, maybe next time I'll sh I, I will show you. The International Dictionary of the Bible. It's like it every word. So today in my Bible study, I was looking up sackcloth and ashes because that's what happened to the Ninevites when uh, Jonah came and told them that that Nineveh would be destroyed unless they they shaped up and humbled themselves before the Lord and repented. And so they sat and sat, they put on sackcloth and sat in ashes. So fascinating what sackcloth, cloth, and ashes, because we think we know, right? When you read this dictionary of the Bible, what it says, unbelievable. Well, anyway, long story short, I opened that book and this fell out. I have no idea what it is. Can anybody recognize what this might be? I have no idea. But it is pressed, and so this is one of my inspirations for today. And there was this one extra little leaf with it, which probably popped off like the bottom or something. And I was going to throw it away, and I was like, no, 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 we're going to use that. So that is one of my inspirations. The other is this magazine picture. Can you see that? It is leaves. It's all leaves, and it says Seasons of Change. I had a book uh, or a magazine, and I guess... A real simple from November 2021. So it was, it had fall things in it. And I tore out some of the most beautiful pictures from that magazine. But this was one of them. So I'm thinking that this is going to be my inspiration here. And I'm already looking. There is some yellow here with some turquoise. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. I can, I can ooh and ah all day over what I'm going to do. But, but here's the thing. I need to get on with it, right? So I'm just going to use this inspiration background piece and maybe glue it in a couple places and then we'll see what comes from that. And yes, I know I, I will probably be covering up a lot of this. The whole point of putting things like, well, this is actually a page from a book. I didn't put this, this part on. That was on there. I put this um, masking tape on and this is just an envelope here. Um, Sometimes I put stuff on pages just to break the blank page. You know, we, we all do that, right? Sorry for the crinkle, guys. I have to fold this. It's just a piece of uh, parchment paper. But um, it helps that blank page, you know, if you, if you have something on the page. So I'll put paint or just do something, you know, to get something on the page so that when I go to use it, it's not like, oh, just white page, right? So on this one, I had actually put some masking tape, but it already had the picture. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some collaging. I don't know when the last time I actually collaged was. So let's go ahead and let's see if I can just tear that off instead of having to, having to, let's see here. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm just tearing, guys. Just tearing and putting. Tearing and putting. So let's go ahead and put this here. Yes, I know it's too long, so we'll have to tear this part off. So I hope you all are doing well. I am doing fine. I've been super busy. When you have two, two residences that you literally split your time 50-50, and that's generally three, three quarters of the year that I, I um, spend my time between the cabin and this house here. Um, in the very cold months, like uh, from right before Christmas until early March, we do not go to the cabin. We close the cabin for the winter time. It's, um, the, it's just too unpredictable. The roads are unpredict unpredictable if there's rain or, I mean, snow or anything. And, you know, both of my parents are elderly. I have to be able to uh, get home at any time. I have, I've been up at the cabin when it snowed before. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but uh, we just close it over the winter. But for the rest of the year, I'm straddling myself between two, two houses. And it can get, uh, it can get a little... Uh, wonky at times. You have to remember to do this here and do that there. Plus, I have two gardens, you know, one there and one here, and trying to keep them going and everything is, is a little bit, uh, it takes a lot of time. Excuse me, just had to have a sip of coffee. Now, I also have a little bit of my painty paper here, just some scraps of my painty paper. And They've kind of got, the, this one's kind of got this yellowish brown kind of vibe going. So let's put some of that there. Um, I think my focal point is actually going to be this little guy here. And he might actually go on that page there. I don't know. But then we might use one of Debbie's lovely stickers. And let's see here. All right, those are focal points. Let's just take a look to see if we've got any paper that's just screaming out to us that it needs to be used. Okay, here is... Uh, da, 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 da. What is this? This is a piece of scrapbook paper. Uh, I'll pull it out, but I, I tend to try keep... Uh, the paper's thinner in this book because I don't want this particular book to, um, this is book page from a quilting book. I'm just pulling stuff out, guys. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to end up using some of this, but, you know, this is, see that scrapbook paper again. Why do I have so much yellow scrapbook paper? That's interesting. All right, we'll pull that out. Oh, wait, what's this piece here? This is kind of fun. All right. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. It's all got to go, right? These are all scraps. Oh, I love this. This is from, um, this is just the end of one of those how to paint books, the watercolor type books, those big ginormous books. All right, I think those are the only colors I'm going to be using. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, we can get out of hand here. I don't want to, I don't want to get out of hand. So let me get those off my desk. By the way, um, uh, Dollar Tree no longer sells these. They used to sell these for a dollar. These are such good, heavy-duty um, pencil pouches, you know, and you can just put the big rings in them, and you can store all your stuff in them. I love them. If you can find, I don't know, maybe somewhere online you can find some nice big pencil pouches like this. I got this idea from Lolly. Uh, for, whose channel was Lolly Palooza years ago, and I made those, and I love those. So let's take a look here, because we can't do everything just orange, because I mean yellow, because um, I've got my green flower, but I do have this stuff, which I really love. And so let's tear the edge here, because, you know, I don't like the straight edge so much. But I love this book so much that this probably will go in like my Bible journal or something like that. And this other page has already got some uh, greeny thingies. Okay, that is a little bit too much white. I want some white, but not too much, not to be a distraction. Okay, that's good there. All right, something like that. I Yeah, I have no idea. Didn't I have these on here already somewhere? I don't know. Um... Okay, here's something. Yeah, everything's coming and everything's going again. 
I do want to cover this down here because it's uh, use something, Helen. I want to use this. Let's see here. If I just use a tiny piece of that, that could cover that. It's got the photograph by whoever on it, whoever took that photograph of those lovely leaves. Let's go ahead and put this down. I've got to make some decisions here. All right. I'm just going to put this down here. Like that. All right, so we've got that. So let's go ahead and use it somewhere else. And I'm just gonna kind of make a long shape like that. So we put it up here. Sure, why not? I've got to make decisions, right? I think any of us who do collage. I mean, I'm not out to make a super super masterpiece. I'm out to have some fun and glue paper to paper. That's really why I collage. Sometimes I do take my time, but I find if I do that, I tend to drive myself nuts because I, I'm i just too this, no this, no this, back and forth, wishy-washy. Uh, you know how that goes, right? I kind of like that there, okay. So anyway, so I was talking about my two houses and how I've been extremely busy, especially with the garden and stuff. I am so, so wanting to put in my vegetables, my fall vegetables here because this is where I am now. However, it's still 88 degrees here. I can't put the fall ones in yet. It's just too stinking hot. So I have to wait, but thankfully, when I go to the cabin, because it is 10 degrees, a good 10 degrees cooler, and the nights get much cooler than 10 degrees below what it gets here, it is, I can put them in up there. So the next time I get up there, I will be planting some of my, um, well, probably all of my fall garden up there. Okay, let's put that there. All right. So, Sue, if you are watching this video, I just want you to know, well, I might have already Marco Poloed you by the time you see this, but just in case I didn't, I watched M.I. Gardener, and it's his peas that I am planting, and he has a video about what not to do, or mistakes people make when they when they plant their peas, and of course it's his pea, pea seeds seeds that I'm planting and he says no, one of them is planting too early like planting when it's still over 75 degrees well like I told you it's like in the 80s still every day here and I looked at the um, I'm not sure if this is going to work because now that I've kind of added this moodiness here I'm not sure if that's going to work so let's put this back here somewhere Let's tear it a different shape. Sometimes if you can't, you know, figure out where a piece goes, tear it into another shape and put it, you know, then try. So let's just put that down there. Anyway, yeah, so, you know, the peas are going to have to wait again. I was going to do them today. I was so excited to get out there and put them in. And I just thought, oh, well, I'll watch his video before I do it to make sure I don't make any rookie pea planting mistakes. And, yep, I, I was headed for number one. Okay, so let's see here. Where's my plant? It's right here. What is that? I have no idea what that is. But I love this little guy here that's fallen off. Oh, didn't I say I was probably going to put it on that page? I like that page more because this has this is so busy back here. And this one, even though it is an envelope with some writing there, here is kind of plain. So I was thinking of like just putting him down there something like that is that enough it is enough okay uh, for this though I'm gonna have to use the art glitter glue and I left my small bottle with the um, fine liner at the cabin oh goodness can I even get this lid off uh, let's see Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. 
I was trying to pull at the wrong place. I think I need this big gun here for this leaf because it's not perfectly flat, if you know what I mean. Okay. Oh no, I broke off another leaf, yikes. Okay, let's see here. Let's put this on here, get that down. I'm not worried about the stem down there. Where the heck did this come from? Here? I don't know. Is that the right way? I don't know that either. Well, we're just gonna put it there. Why? What? Oh no, don't tell me leaves aren't gonna stick. I've seen people stick leaves. Why are my leaves not sticking? And then this little guy here, let's just kind of put him here. Stick. If they don't end up sticking, I will use a different glue. Maybe, um, maybe something like the the beacon foam adhesive or something like that. Okay, I'll just give it a second to dry there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there like that because I think you can, like I said, you can see it better here than you could over here. But that's kind of not enough so I do want to use one of Debbie's stickers so let's pull I like this one that says make art every day and it just so happens that the colors work really well but do we want to frame that with something let's see I kind of like this piece of yellow I think that might make it pop a little bit more if I put that, or is it just the white? Is that, is that muddying things? No, maybe just the white. Uh, kind of want it like maybe up there, like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put that down. This might be a very simple collage, guys. Just a couple pieces of paper and some leaves. But I kind of had another idea. Okay, now for the next half hour, you get to watch me try to open his sticker. Come on, Helen. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Okay. All right. Um, I did have kind of an idea, but it would require me to get up, and that's just, you know, bad planning in a video, but then again, I do it all the time, right? Oh yeah, those are sticking. Okay, first of all, before I go on, do I, oh no, I gotta get up. Oh darn it. Uh, do I? Uh, let me see here. I have some washi tape here. I really wanted to put masking tape there, but I have this tape, this washi tape. So let me see, if I like this one, then I don't have to get up. But if I don't like this one, then I'm going to be getting up. Let's see here. Uh, so I went to tea with some friends today, so I'm hopped up on tea because two of my girlfriends got real tea. And, um, Uh, I got a herbal tea, but we share. We, we try different teas. And the owner always, always um, of the tea shop always says, you got to try different ones and share them. Okay, does that work? See, I'm looking at the dark in here, and there's a little bit of dark there, so I thought maybe I could put a little bit of dark here. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave that like that, and then let's just go ahead and put a piece of this somewhere. Put it right here. Let's tape these two pieces of paper together. Well, it looks like they're taped together. Like that. How's that? Okay, I like that. Now, let me get my binder out again. That has focal points. And to see if there's anything else I could add to this. Probably not, I'm thinking. Uh, hold on a second. 
I know you're going to say, what is she thinking? However, ooh, I do have this pretty bird. But see, I saw this bunny coming out of the egg, and I thought he was kind of funny. I thought he would be really cute right there. I really like him. Yeah, I know. I know. This is like, ooh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm not up for beautiful right now. I'm in a, I'm in a hyped up on caffeine, tea caffeine mood, and I like this little bunny, so he's going to go down there. Or should he go over? No, he gets lost over there. He's going to go over here. Yeah. Why? I don't know, because a bunny has nothing to do with anything. This is that book. I don't know. This is a popular children's book about a bunny and an egg a gold like it's the golden egg or something like that i forget what it's called anyway i i don't even know if i had the whole uh book or just some pages of it and i just cut out some focal points but i just think he's adorable so he's just going to go here for no reason at all all right, I like that. Now, the only thing I think I want to do, because it's glaring to me that I've got aqua here and no aqua here. So let's get some crayons and see if we have one. Let's see here. Yep, that'll work. This one right here. These are the Vicki Booten watercolor crayons. I absolutely love these. So I, what I'm just doing is doing some quick mark making with the aqua to just get some aqua on both pages. And like that. And then I think I might also um, maybe water some down. You know, just put some randomly. Let's put some marks up here, too. I love, love, love these crayons. I don't know if she still makes them or not. I'm, I'm assuming she does. Uh, yeah, okay, let me get... I've got my water here. Let me grab a little paintbrush. This one. And what I want to do is just kind of blend this one. Just put a little bit. It isn't exactly the same color aqua, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't care. I just want to get some of that brightness on this page. I'm not sure about this envelope. It's, it's, go down here a little bit. It seems kind of weak up here. Like it's, it's the paper when I'm painting on it is kind of, uh, not falling apart, but kind of pilling. Let's come over here a little bit too. See, they react different depending on what the paper is because this is magazine paper, so it's kind of doing something different. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I don't want to overdo it with this color because, it, like I said, it's not the exact color, which is fine, but it just kind of balances it out a little bit more. All right, I'm going to call that quick little collage done and done. It's done, Helen. Just stop. Okay. There we go. Quick little collage. And my share from my lovely friend, Debbie. Debbie, thank you again. And right here, I've already used a piece. So, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I ask that you do. And until the next video, I hope you're all truly blessed. Bye-bye.